Hey everybody, it's Diamond Grandma. I'm back again. And this time I have a Shen haul. Some of these, I have, uh, two of them I have done done, but I just wanted y'all to say this. I did a review on this one. This one came from Shen. It's a 30 by 30 round. Uh, it was not a good canvas. I did a review on this one. I have a video on my page that y'all can go back and watch. But, um, uh, this was not a good canvas at all. So, I just wanted to, that one came from Shen. I think I ended up giving $5 for this butterfly one from Shen. I know I usually don't give a whole lot for my canvases when I order from Shen. This one comes from Shen, too. This is a 30 by 40 with flowers and ladybugs, and it come out fabulous. This was a great canvas. The symbols were clear. I did not have any problem on this canvas. So, like I said in my review, I think that the butterfly one was probably due to the distributor that they get them from or wherever that Shen gets them from because I know Shen does not personally make the uh, canvases. So, but anyway, this one turned out fabulous and it is gorgeous. I love it. And when I get it done and get it on a uh, canvas and get it completed, I'll uh, do a video on that. I am going to do a video on some of that where um, on the ones that I have completed and how I do them. This one is... Raccoons. And this is a 30 by 40. That's your standard tool kit. Uh, the diamonds look great. I did not have any problems on the diamonds on the other two canvases that I done. They were not much trash in them or anything like that, but they're gorgeous, as you can see. Pour glue. Pour glue you can do this too. Okay, this is it. And it is raccoons. I am doing my husband's office, home office. Me and him share an office. Mine, I just have a table set up that I do my diamond paintings on, seal them, and put them on canvases. But I am doing it in strictly wildlife animals. But anyway, this is so cute. Let me see what the sticky's like. Yep, sticky's good. Get up close so y'all can see the field, drill field. It is clear. This one right here, I believe, is going to be all right, too. It looks like it is. It looks like it's going to be okay. Lay these out so they'll get flat. But there it is, the raccoon, and it is cute. So cute. I'm going to say I probably didn't give over $6 for this one. But it is so cute. Leave that laying out so they'll get flat. Okay. This one right here is a 30 by 42, and it has got a bead in it. I hope I don't have a busted bag. Oh, let me tell you this. This one, raccoon, has got 20 colors on it. And the sunflower one I did had 19. And the butterfly one had 19. I like doing this size because they fit on my walls real good. Because I, I like hanging up. I hang up most of mine most of mine up. Got another standard tool kit. 
Ooh, now these are some pretty colors. A lot of blues, some purples. It's really pretty. And I'll take the drills out here in a moment. And this is a 30 by 40. It has 25 colors on it. I don't know how the image is going to come out on this. Maybe too small. Maybe pixelated. I don't know how it will come out on this one. Oh yeah, sticks good on it. I hadn't had, very rarely have I had any problems with any of the canvases that I have ordered from anywhere as far as the sticky. Now I have had problems with not having enough drills, but I do keep my drills if they have DNC numbers. I don't keep them if they don't have DMC numbers. I like the DMC numbers because, like I say, I have run out before. And this is what this canvas looks like. It looks good on camera. I hope it turns out good when I do it. Let's see about the drill fill. Drill fill looks ba a very clear to me. Get this up here so y'all see. There is the drill fill, which is very, very clear looking to me. This is what the picture looks like after it is done. Let's see what these drills look like. I know some people don't like to look at the drills, but I will run through them right quick because they are some gorgeous colors. Look at them. How pretty. If they do, they do look really good. They don't look like they have any, hardly any trash in them. There's some right there. I I said that. Just a little bit, but that's normal. I mean, I even ordered, I mean, picked up my Chuck Pinson from Diamond Art Club. In fact, it was kind of trashy when I got it. So you're going to run into some trash with all of them. They're not going to be just perfect with no trash. I don't care how much you pay for them. They all run on a machine. All run on a machine. Look at these. These are the raccoon ones. Look how pretty. These are more folly colors. But, like I say, I'm doing it wildlife. We live out in the country. We live. In, I live in Mississippi. So where we live at, we get to see wildlife all the time. And my father was a big avid deer hunter. And I loved outdoors. He died back in 2012. And every time I see a deer or anything wildlife, I think of him, so. But that's my haul from Shen. I have another one coming in. And when I get it, I'll show you. But like I say, I have done, this is the first time I have ordered diamond paintings from Shen. 
I was kind of iffy when I ordered them. I thought, well, you know, but you're that way with any company that you order from, unless it's Diamond Art Club or some of the more expensive companies. I know Shen's out of China, you know, and a lot of your diamond paintings do come out of China, but um, it's just like, like I said, it's not necessarily Shen. It was just a distributor that they used, but I've done two from Shen so far. And this one was fabulous, turned out great. No issues with the canvas at all, with the symbols or anything. And then got this from the same company, Shen, and it was terrible. So it's just that way with anything that you get diamond wise, diamond painting wise, that you know, you just don't know. Same way I have ordered on Amazon before and get a canvas and it'd be awful. And then I, the next one I got would be perfect. So that just comes and goes with diamond painting, same way with drills. But I did have, uh, somebody had told me a hack that I had seen about staticky drills. They said if you would put them in the freezer for a few minutes that it gets rid of the static. I have not personally tried it. I was just reading on some of my Facebook on some of the diamond painting uh, pages or Facebook on their Facebook that I'm a member of that they had on there that they had uh, used the freezer to put their diamond painting, I mean their drills in and it got rid of the static. So that's just a little tip for y'all. Y'all might want to try it. I'm going to try it next time because I have got a hold of some of the canvases that the drills were real uh, staticky. But the drills was not staticky on the two that I did from Shen. So like I say, that goes with diamond paintings too. But if you like what you see, please hit the button and subscribe. I would glad I would glad for you to come back and watch some more of my videos. I'm just getting into it and I love diamond painting. It is just phenomenal. I just love it. Um, I do not work. I stay at home. I quit my job two years ago to see to my mother who lives right next door uh, and she is doing good now. So I sit in diamond paint a big, the biggest portion of my day and I just love it. I used to do cray uh, coloring by um, the adult coloring and I used to love doing it and my daughter-in-law bought my first diamond painting off of Amazon and I was hooked ever since and I love it. So, but anyway, glad that you came to watch my video. Hope you come back. Hope you have a great day. Thank you.